In this video, I will share with you the top 10 questions I get about cloud calling. Lots of companies are looking at upgrading their phone system, and if you're in the market for an upgrade, it's all about cloud calling. No more on-premise systems, those are considered legacy. Everything has shifted to the cloud. But first, why cloud, you ask? Well, the usual reasons. Super fast provisioning, near unlimited scale, feature velocity, automatic updates, especially good for those security patches, easy access, and the list goes on. By the way, my name is Shervin Shafi, and I'm a principal technical specialist at Microsoft. So here we go, availability. From a Teams calling services perspective, it's available in 196 countries. Pretty good, huh? So I think you can pretty much lay this one to rest. And here is the list if you want to double check if the countries that you're interested in made it. I'll also drop it down in the description. Number two, PSTN, Public Switch Telephony Network. Now this is basically how you get a phone number for your team's client. Now while the easiest way is just getting a phone number directly from Microsoft, that option is available in 33 countries, more coming soon. So what about everywhere else? No problem. You can either use direct routing or operator connect. What is that you ask? Well, it's basically a model where you bring your own telecom or PSTN provider. If you like more info, just watch my deeper dive video on that topic here. And by the way, some companies are using this migration to cloud calling as an opportunity to reduce phone numbers and further cut costs. So check out this clip for more ideas around this. Number three, features. Yes, I know, Microsoft Teams doesn't have a zillion features like your on-premise phone system has today. This is pretty much true for all cloud calling platforms. But do you really need all those features? Part of this transition is an opportunity to modernize your workplace, do things differently. Chances are cloud calling has the main features that you need. And if your favorite feature isn't here today, don't worry, that's the beauty of the cloud. Feature velocity and automatic updates. It may already be on our public roadmap, or you can make a feature request. Number four, emergency calling. Although this is also a feature, it's usually called out on its own as it's extremely important. Now here, Microsoft does a great job by having features for when someone calls 911 from the office or from their home office. For more info on this topic, check out my emergency calling video. Number five, devices. We have whatever you need from video cameras to traditional desk phones, headsets, speaker pucks, room video conferencing. And the nice thing is we work with a variety of hardware manufacturers certified by Microsoft to run our software, providing a consistent user experience across manufacturers. So if you like that polyphone with Logitech cameras and Yaling headsets, go for it. Or maybe you want to see if you can reuse that old Cisco or Polycom phone that's sitting on your desk with Microsoft Teams. Good news! Check out my SIP Gateway video that shows you how to do that. And for more device ideas, check out this clip. Number six, common area phones. Beyond assigning phones to individual users, chances are you have common areas in your office like lobbies, shared queues, shift workers, conference rooms, that will require shared devices. These can be a common area phone, which Microsoft calls CAP, or video conferencing units like a Surface Hub or a Microsoft Team Room. Of course, we have you covered both in terms of devices from a variety of certified manufacturers, as well as the licensing teams requires for these. For a bit more info on CAP, check out this hot desking video, and to learn more about how you can connect your non-Microsoft certified device like a Cisco video conferencing unit to a Teams meeting, check out this video on Cloud Video Interop. Number seven, analog. What about analog devices? Maybe you want Microsoft to integrate to that older overhead paging system that you already have in place, or analog phones in a hotel or hospital room, or an analog doorbell that can be linked to a Teams phone. Well, you're in luck there too. Using direct routing comprised of session border controllers and analog telephony adapters, you can connect those analog devices to Microsoft Teams today. Number eight, redundancy. This comes up on occasion and it really depends on your business model. Are you a mission critical hospital, utilities company, 
or are you in manufacturing, retail, or some other non-mission critical setting? Now, beyond having multiple internet paths to the cloud, eliminating single points of failure on your network, and Microsoft having one of the largest cloud computing platforms in the world, thank you, Azure, Microsoft Teams also does have a Teams phone technology called Survivable Branch Appliance, which provides branch level redundancy with PSDN trunks terminating at that local site. Pretty good, huh? Now just note that this technology only works with direct routing PSDN today. Number nine, migration. Maybe by now you're sold on Teams cloud calling, but you're thinking, hey, I need to test this thing out, migrate a few small teams over before I go all in. I need Microsoft to interoperate with my existing phone system. No problem. Using direct routing technology, you can keep your legacy PBX and integrate it to Microsoft Teams so both phone systems can reach each other during this interim period. And finally, number 10, cost. Now, this one I don't get involved with a lot because I'm on the technical side. But I will say this, you can pretty much consider the PSCN portion of this awash because whether it's your on-premise solution or a cloud solution, you're going to need PSCN access. And with Microsoft Teams being so flexible in how you can obtain PSCN, three methods, I doubt you're going to be paying more for PSCN than you are today. Then there is the license cost, and that's the beauty of Microsoft licensing. You can either just purchase Teams phone, add phone system licensing to an E3, or move to an E5 that includes this license. And as all things, you will enjoy maximum savings the more you can bundle. Now there may be other costs like devices, implementation, training, and others, but those will depend on your specific project. I hope this video helps you with your decision to move to cloud calling, and I hope that you select Microsoft Teams as your telephony solution. Now, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. In the comment section, drop me a note. What did I miss? And if you want to learn more about Microsoft Teams phone, I suggest that you start right here.